Good afternoon. This is my penultimate newsletter. One more to go next week. Hopefully you've all read my letter which came out to you on Wednesday of this week. During the government guidelines of the last week, the government have also announced for all of us that they want schools to close early on Friday the 18th of December. This is because we still, as a school, have to continue to be the track and trace service for schools. And this will happen for six days after schools finish. This means if we finish on Friday the 18th, we as a school will still be offering a track and trace service on Christmas Eve. And as you know, we are all quite tired. So the government have asked that we close a day early so that the track and trace service only goes up until the 23rd of December. We will not be offering it as an inset day. We will be asking students to go online and complete work that we have set on Google Classroom. We only have two inset days left this year and we need them both. So lessons will be put online for lessons one to three on Friday and we ask that all students access those lessons and complete them. And we will be checking on this and talking to students who haven't completed this work in the new year. And of course, staff will be available via email to support any students that are struggling with the work. We will finish at the usual time on Thursday. That means that Year 7s will be leaving at 3.10, Year 8s and 9s at 3.15 and Year 10s and 11s at 3.20. There will not be an early finish on Thursday. We will also be moving Christmas Jumper Day. So Christmas Jumper Day will now take place on Thursday the 17th of December. Students can wear a Christmas jumper. I ask that they wear the rest of their uniform. They don't have to wear the tie, but the trousers or the skirt needs to be worn. And if they want to put a blazer over the top, they're welcome, but that's not compulsory. We also have some very exciting news about a trip to the Spire on Thursday the 17th of December. Now that is next week. We have been contacted by them to say that they are prepared to put on an exclusive performance of A Christmas Carol for our students. We can take between 50 and 80 students and this will be open to years 8 and 9. We're very excited about this because this is an exclusive offer for us as a school. Nobody else will be in the theatre and of course it will be Covid compliant. This means that if you want your son and daughter to attend you need to get your information to us as quickly as possible and there will be information in this newsletter as to how you can get a place and pay for that place. We're very excited about this. This will be our first proper school trip since the lockdown and this is something that means that we're back to normal in so many ways. The students are studying a Christmas Carol for their GCSE and we're learning it early so this will be so beneficial for the students if you can get them to this trip. And two more Christmas events before I move on to other things. We are still in the throes of our 12 days of giving for Christmas for contributions to local food banks. So if you haven't yet had a chance to contribute to that, it's not too late. And of course, we now have our inter-house bumper quiz, which is available for all families to take part in. We will again attach the link to this as part of this message so please join in i'm sure you'll enjoy it there's a hundred questions i certainly know i'm going to do it because i love a quiz a lot of school business to talk about now firstly a message from pe we've been extremely lucky with the weather since september and we've been able to do practically all of our pe lessons outside which is great for covid compliance but we are aware that it is now getting colder and the students will be feeling that Mr Coulthard would like to let you know that we are saying please wear skins underneath your PE kit and we do know that the fleeces are out of stock in the shop at the moment so we are allowing for now plain round neck tops to be worn over the top of PE kit just to keep warm. Mr Coulthard has asked that these do not have hoods if possible. We've also noticed that some students are wearing the same socks for school and in PE and they're not changing back and forth. Please can you make sure that your son and daughter has some fresh clean socks to change into when they come off the PE field, uh, especially if it's wet, it's just not very pleasant for them or us to be fair. In the new year, Key Stage 3 will be studying rugby and fitness and Key Stage 4 continuing with the current programme. 
We really hope as the vaccine kicks in that we'll begin to be able to do some more fixtures in the new year. This would be so good. And Mr Coulthard and the rest of the PU team would like to pass on their thanks to all the students at the school for their continuing enthusiasm for PE. It really is great to see them all out there joining in. A little reminder to you all, if you use the bus service, that the buses are becoming completely cashless after Christmas. So if you haven't yet organised that, please be aware that you will not be able to use cash on the buses to and from school after Christmas. A couple of other initiatives that I just want to let you know about. Uh, the iGo discount card, which is available for all students with special educational needs or disabilities. It's a leisure pass, which is available. All the details will be in the electronic version of this newsletter. And to add to that, an exciting opportunity in the music department for an option to do some DJing. And I'm going to read this. It's the Starfish Up to Scratch DJ Academy, and it's running from the Starfish Studios in Lewis. And it's an opportunity for students to go on courses on how to become a DJ. Sounds amazing. I think I might go myself. Anyway, the details are in the electronic version of this newsletter. And finally, as usual, our safeguarding focus. We know that many of our students use TikTok, and even those students under the age of 13 are not supposed to use it, we do know that that happens. So we'd like to support you by ensuring that you know what your son and daughter is doing on TikTok online. Attached to this newsletter, again, is a link which will enable you to, as a parent, to monitor your son or daughter's activities on TikTok. Please take advantage of this if you haven't got anything in place already. And finally, as part of the holidays, we do realise that there will be some social gatherings. Normally at this time of year, there will be lots of parties and we like to remind students how to behave and what to do if they're at a party and they feel unsafe. I think there will be less opportunity for that this year, but we do need to remind you about how to keep your son or daughter safe when they are going out and socialising. So again, there's a link to some useful helping websites in this newsletter. Please take advantage of that too. I will see you for one more newsletter next week. Have a good weekend.